Hello everybody and welcome to my 19th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can query a existing query with a new query uh, and if that doesn't make sense in your head then it will do by the end of the tutorial hopefully um, so I've got this query at the moment that I've called all sales and it just gives me a list of all of the sales, who's made them, what the item is, and then what the total sale value is. Uh, so not information that we normally have in our tables. Now, if I want to uh, now create a, a breakdown of all of my uh, kind of customers and how much money they've spent, I wouldn't be able to do it from just my tables quite quickly because I'd have to link in this. Uh, and then link in the sales and then link all that in. So what I can do instead is if I go into create and then query design and then you'll see here at the top I've got these tabs and I can click on query and if you click on queries it's going to show you all the queries that you can have instead and if you double click on this and it will add it into your field at the top uh, and it will allow you to use those field names instead so it's essentially whatever this table is is now our new table in here so this can be really useful so uh, I can go uh, I can put in the username and group by the username Let's put my table so group by the username and then we can put in our sale value uh, and we can put that as sum uh, and if I save this as uh, money spent per user and go into my datasheet view you'll see that it shows me uh, each of my users and then the total amount of money they've spent so that can be a really quick way of creating a whole variety of different um, different queries. What well, it's also useful for if you have one query that kind of has criteria that you want to put in it uh, and then lots of different queries that feed off of that query. If you if you change the criteria in your first query then it's going to change it for all of them. So uh, you can be quite clever with it and it can save you a lot of time. Uh, and that's it. It's quite a quick tutorial, quite a simple concept, uh, but one that we'll probably be using quite a lot in the coming tutorials uh, and that you'll find that you use a lot when you're putting your reports together. So any questions, uh, you can pop onto our forum uh, by in the link in the description below. Please check out my website. I've just redone it all uh, to have a new design. So check it out, see, see what you think. Let me know. In the comments, that'd be awesome. Uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.